and they're that rolling. In the same way that they're lying. Yeah, that can't happen because they're annoying enough, Caps fans, because they won. If they beat the Penguins two years in a row in the playoffs, they'll become even more annoying. We can't have that. Yeah, that, that's going to be rough. The, the only answer would be for for them just to, to beat the Penguins and then meet the Lightning in the Eastern Conference Finals and then just be swept. Yeah, yeah. That's the only thing. And, you know, yes, they'd have bragging rights over the Penguins for another year, but that would be far better than than them uh, going through the whole whole show again. Um, and, and, you know, that's the thing. I think the Lightning and Caps were playing now, and the last time I looked, I, I think the Lightning were, were beating up on the Caps pretty good. And it's just like, it's it's hard to imagine at least at this point, with two weeks left in the season, anybody topping the Lightning. And I know this happens all the time. You know, the President's Trophy is cursed. Yeah. Teams don't win it, and then win the Cup, it just doesn't happen. This just seems so different. Yeah. I mean, if it was a race, they would be, like, lapping. They'd be, like, <laughs> they would have already outrun everybody and then and then racing everybody again to uh, to, to beat them again. That's how, that's how good they are right now. Well, I mean, they already lost the Senators this year, so. Wow. Um, yeah, they, they've at least at one point had doubled the Senators in points, um, which is both a, a compliment to the Lightning and an indictment of, of what's happening in Ottawa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that that was even close to the deadline. I mean, I just I can't remember a team playing as dominantly as Tampa has it, in the salary cap era. Not for as consistently as they've played. And it's just even that 15-16 Penguins team that that looked like you know, the best one of the best teams I've ever seen seen come together and play as a unit. Um I, I just think Tampa is the, the real deal, the whole package. Um, and, you know, I will say it will be nice to play them because the last two matchups, one, we won on the way to the top, right, in the Eastern Conference final against them. And then the last time before that, they beat us when our top line was Mark Lepestu, uh, Alexei Kovalev, and, and uh, who else was on the top line? Oh, oh James Neal. Because uh, Malkin and Crosby were injured and and, and Stahl was injured, and and they had that whole mess of a, a lineup in 2010, right after we acquired James Neal. And I remember how much everybody hated that trade because of that. And I just feel like that would that would have been a better performance than than what would happen if they met this year. <laughs> Ralph, I... All right, sir. Well, we will see. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how this turns out. All right. Nick Vusick from Penn's Labyrinth. Hey, thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Have a good night. Hey, you too. Thanks for listening. We'll be back tomorrow with another episode. I'm going to continue my preview of the NL Central. This time we'll be talking about the Reds. Thanks again to Nick Vusick from Penn's Labyrinth. Talk to you later. Another episode is in the bag.